Well, so people are at it again. Look, it don't matter who should be the cash cow. It don't matter who is the A side and the B side. See that shit, that sh all that stuff right there, that's what started all this, that's what started all this fucking BS. Motherfuckers worried about motherfuckers pockets. You more worried about your fighter looking good outside the ring than in the ring. And you more worried about the, the trinkets, uh, the bells and the whistles, who's on the left side of the promo, who comes out first, rather than not the performance in the ring. That's what started this all. That's what started it off for people saying that, yo, it's, it's us versus uh, those guys over there. It's, it's Edward Hearn versus the PBC. It's Edward Hearn uh, Matro Boxing versus everybody. It's the zone versus uh, everybody up over here. That's what started this shit. You guys worried about these, these whack ass news clipping, these whack ass stories. Motherfuckers say one thing you say Anthony Joshua got this and that and the third. What did Wilder got? We say one thing, but 50 million wasn't real. We say one thing, and look, look, when's the last time Deontay Wilder sold something out? We say one thing, and it, go, it goes back and forth with everything that has nothing to do with what, 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 what happens in the inside of the ring. You more worried about that than Anthony Joshua actually fighting Deontay Wilder. You more worried about that than having to pay pay-per-view prices for damn near every fight that you want to see over there in the UK. That's what you more worried about. That's what I don't I don't get mother I don't get I don't get some of you corny ass motherfuckers. What is there to like? about someone that you know you cannot trust what is there to like about someone who scammed you out of money by having you by overcharging you by running a scheme on you what is there to like about that what what is there about somebody that literally gets booed about somebody that literally has to voluntarily dismiss a case and then say, yeah, Andrew Ruiz, you know, the reason why, reason why the court case went right away is because Andrew Ruiz, blah, 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 this and the third, we got our point across and, he, and he's going to be fighting in, the U, in, in, in Saudi Arabia. Then you get up there, he gets up there lying again. You guys didn't win no fucking court case. You're doing interviews with, 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 with this dude. But you guys don't even want to. You guys don't even want to bring up what the fuck does it mean with a voluntary dismissal? Why was half of the fuck fuck the monetary amount? Fuck fuck the dollars the dollar size and shit that's that they took out of there. What's up with the shit that was redacted? Why could they not <clears throat> give? Why could they not give Andrew Ruiz's team an adequate breakdown on the security? Why did they not want to give Andrew Ruiz's team um, the insurance number? Why did they fail to answer certain questions that that, that Andrew Ruiz's team had for them? Because they couldn't they couldn't answer it. How are you gonna answer something? How are you gonna answer something that you don't have no proof of in a in a court of law? You don't have no proof. You don't have nothing in still. All you got is a whole bunch of fucking names. All you do in that court case, look, y'all, in that whole court case, he talked about how how good of a person was rather than not being what was they fucking resume. You know what I'm saying? He talked about he talked he talked more about Anthony Joshua resume than what the hell was he suing for? The lawsuit didn't help. Only thing the lawsuit helped was 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 having Andrew Ruiz saying he a fight over there. Was was having Andrew Ruiz um not going around here putting doubt in the public mind and saying that he ain't taking the fight. That's the only thing that changed. 
Because from what I read, the WBO ain't signed off on it yet. They still don't have no security measures. Something could pop off in Saudi Arabia at any moment now between now and in the fight to where somebody, Andrew Ruiz, probably going to have to jump ship. Wouldn't have these problems if you just gave that man that 50 million, huh? Wouldn't have these problems if you took that 50 million from Dante Water. Oh, yeah, you would. Because you wouldn't have no Anthony Joshua no more. He'd be in a coma. Shout outs to the LDBC and everybody stay sucker free.